Hi, I'm Michelle. This is a Rise and Reignite fitness class, and today we're doing a bar class. So you're going to want to have with you a chair or a wall to be able to use as a bar and a set of light and heavy hand weights. If you don't have a set of light and heavy hand weights, you can use water bottles, you can use wine bottles, and just choose something in that general like spherical thing or a cylindrical thing to be able to use as your weights. We're going to go ahead and start today by bringing our hands hip to our hips and lifting up our legs one at a time. So just bring it up about to hip height. We're going to bring our arms right up there with us and we're going to start pulling those arms back with energy, vigor, vivacity, all of that stuff. And we're going to pull them back, and each time you pull those arms back and lift that leg up, I want you to exhale. You're getting your full body engaged from your shoulders, your back, your belly with the air and the breathing, and your legs all moving at once. Breathe in and out. You've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Last one, you're gonna bring your hands to your hips again. Lift up your right leg, let's start stretching out those uh, hip flexors just a little bit. Don't push too hard here, it's all about feeling good, getting your body nice and warm for the exercise to come. So if you haven't taken a bar class before, bar is entirely focused on tiny, tiny movements that burn like all get out. It's all about those little, little, little tiny moves that you really get a lot out of. Um, so throughout this class, I really want you to try to push yourself, see how far you can go. It should burn, your legs should shake. That's when you're doing it right. We're gonna do two more. This is your last one, awesome. We're just gonna reach side to side here. Bring our whole body to face either direction. Use your breath again. Exhale as you bring that arm side to side. We're gonna do five, four, three, two. Last one, you're gonna bring up over your head. Just side to side, getting that stretch in the whole side of your body. That full arm is engaged, that shoulder is engaged. So we're gonna go through all parts of our body from our um, arms to our uh, legs, our glutes, and our abs. You got five, four, three, Two, let's end here with a little bit of a jog in place just to get that full body again nice and warm, get those arms moving. We've got about 10 seconds left here. And then we're gonna move right on to arms. You've got three, two, and one. Awesome, let's come all the way down to the ground. We're gonna come into push-up position. So you can come into a push-up position on your knees, on your toes, or even using a wall. Bring those arms right underneath your shoulders, and we're going to start with 20 on-tempo push-ups. Here we go. Down, up. That's one, two, three, four. Keep your chin away from your chest. Six, abs pulled in. Seven, eight, nine. You are halfway there. Keep it up. Ten, nine. Use your breath. Seven, six. Five, pull those abs in. Four, three, two, last one. Awesome, pull all the way back. Whew, way to kill it, guys. Just starting out your exercise, you've already done the first 20 push-ups. Go ahead and pull all the way up. Knees under, uh, el or, uh, arms right underneath your shoulders. You're gonna come down to the bottom of your range. You're gonna do 10 pulses right here. You got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, awesome, pull all the way back, extend those arms forward out in front of you. Really, really, really good. We're gonna pull up one more time, we're gonna hold at the bottom and hold statically for five seconds. Hold here, five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah, really good, okay, pull back. Breathe in and out, come up onto your hands and knees. We're gonna swivel around and do some tricep dips here. So you wanna bring your hands right behind your booty, feet are planted out in front of you about hip distance apart, reach yourself up, then try pulling yourself back. And here we're gonna do up, 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 up. <sighs> Breathe in and out. Really good, nice and steady. Keep those shoulders down away from your ears. <sighs> we're gonna do 20 counts. We're gonna lift one leg in the air and switch halfway, if you can. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Switch. One, two, 
three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way down. Good. Shift those arms in front of you. Wave them around back and forth. Breathe in and out. We're going to twist over onto our hands and knees again. And I want you to come down. We're going to hold statically again. Five seconds at the bottom of your range. Got five, four, three, two, one. Push up. Woo. Downward dog. And start walking in toward those hands. At this point, you're going to go ahead and grab your set of heavier hand weights and bring those arms to your side. I only have a set of light hand weights today, so just as a heads up, I'm only going to be using this set. Shoulders come around the back, knees are slightly soft, feet are shoulder width apart. We're going to bring those arms up, two, down, two. So today what we're going to focus on is a lot of circular movements. Starting here on out, a lot of our exercises are going to involve tiny, tiny little circles. Breathe in and out. You've got three. Take it down. Shoulders are down away from your ears. That's two. This last one, you're going to hold all the way up at the top of your range. And here you're going to do real little circles out, out, out. Breathe in and out at any time. You can switch to lighter weights. You can even switch to no weights at all. Totally good because it's all about what's challenging you today. If your arms are already tired or if this is pushing your arms farther than you've been pushed before, you can always take a beat, take a rest, and jump back in, or you can use lighter weights. All right, you got five, four, three, two, last one. Bring it up all the way down, rotate those arms around and back, come back to that nice 90 degree position, lift up, two, down, two, good, up, and take it down, two more, up, down, on this last one you're going to hold all the way up, and this time you're going to rotate the other way around, 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 breathe in and out, Pull those abs in, engage that full body. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Whoo, bring it all the way down. Rotate those legs around and back. Go ahead and grab your set of lighter hand weights. We're gonna take a slightly wider stance. Bring those arms out to our side, lifting up and bringing it down. Take it up, take it down. Use your breath here, nice and steady. Take it up, take it down. So these light hand weights, they have a tendency to get really heavy really fast. So if you're starting this out and you're like, oh, I can handle more, go for it. Um, totally, always go for it if you think your body can do more. But just keep in mind, there's no problem with taking a step down if you realize maybe the hand weights were a little too heavy. Again, slightly bend those knees, pull those abs in, shoulders are down away from your ears. You've got three, take it down, two, and your last one you're going to hold all the way up. You're going to start rotating forward in little circles, circles, circles. Breathe in and out. I know these are heavy. I know it's burning. You got it though. Keep it going. Pull those abs in, shoulders down away from your ears. Push through the burn. You've got five, four, three, two, other way. Circle back, 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 back. I know it burns. If you need to take a step down, jump back in when you're ready, do it. We'll do what works for you. But if you can, hang in there. Breathe in and out. Knees are slightly bent. Abs are pulled in. Shoulders are down away from your ears. You've got five, four, Three, two, and one. Take it all the way down. Shake those arms out. You're going to drop one of those white hand weights to the side. Bring both feet together, parallel to one another. Step your right foot back, and then out six inches to the side. Lean forward over your forward leg. Put your hand onto that uh, thigh to steady yourself. Lift that arm up back behind you, and you're going to up, up, up. Up, little tiny pulses at the top of your range, okay? So pull those abs in, shift your hips so they're squared, shift your shoulders so that they're squared. So what that means is that uh, your shoulders, instead of like one leaning up, they're both right, right next to each other. <sighs> Same with your hips. Instead of one leaning out or up, they're right next to each other. 
We got five, four, three, two little circles in, 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 in. Try to bring that arm up as high as it can go. Keep that shoulder down. Neck is neutral. Spine is neutral. Pull those abs in. Shoulders are down away from your ears. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Take it all the way down, shifting to the other leg. So your feet come together parallel. One leg goes back. Take it out six inches to the side. Lean forward over your front leg and pull your opposite arm back up behind you. And start with those little pulses up, 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 up. That's right, that burns. But it burns so good, you know what I mean? You know you're working. Push it up, 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 up. Breathe in and out. Take this nice, steady, deep breaths. Abs are pulled in, hips are squared, shoulders are squared. Try to lead with your uh, the muscles in the top of your arm. Breathe in and out. You've got five, four, Three, two, little circles in, 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 in. <sighs> Breathe in and out. Really good, really, really good. Keep it going. You are almost done with your arm workout today. You've only got 15 seconds left. Check to see that your abs are still pulled in, your shoulders are still down. <sighs> Breathe, you got it, for five more seconds. Really nice, three, two, and one, take it all the way down. Whew, excellent work, you can push these weights over to the side, I want you to go ahead and swing your arms back in front of your body. Take your right arm up and over your head, grab it with your left arm, pull your uh, whole body over to the side. Oh, right here, right here, so good. Pull there, breathe in and out, switch over to the other side, and pull there. Deep breath in and out, peek up into that corner. We just got a couple seconds left here to stretch, and then we're gonna move on to legs. So again, it's gonna be about nine minutes of legs. You're gonna push through that burn, and then we're gonna have a nice little stretch. Shake those arms out. We're gonna start with some calves. So come over to your bar or your chair, whatever you'd like to call it, and bring your uh, heels together, toes apart. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abs, shoulders are down and back. Hands on the bar, you're gonna lift up, up, up. Up, breathe in and out. So we're starting with a nice little calf burn to get our whole body nice and warm, our legs really feeling it. Breathe in and out, you got five, four, three, two, hold at the top, and you're gonna pulse, 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 pulse. Keep squeezing those glutes, keep contracting those abs, keep those shoulders down, check your posture, you're nice and tall. Wearing those sky-high stilettos, staying really high up the whole time. Breathe in and out. We got five, four, three, two, second round. Take it down, up, 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 up. Use your breath. Again, stay tall. Keep those booties squeezed really tight. You're going to get the most out of this exercise if you can continue to contract all of your different uh, muscles in your legs. Got five, four, three, two, all the way at the top. And you're going to pulse, pulse, pulse. I know this is where you're really getting into it, right? All right, we're going to bring one arm up overhead. Keep those shoulders down. We're going to do 20 counts, switching arms halfway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're done. Yes. Okay. Shake those legs up. Take your right leg back behind you. Oh, lean into this stretch. So good. That first stretch on those calves is so good. Go ahead and push your glutes forward while you lean into this. That way you'll get the most, that long, really long stretch in your calf. Switch to the other leg, get a nice stretch there. Breathe in and out. We're gonna move right into diamond thigh. So you can go ahead and take the uh, bar with one hand, one hand comes up onto your waist. Toes are apart, heels are together. You're gonna lift yourself up, then you're gonna re-tuck those heels together and there's no place like home, very Dorothy, heels touching. You're gonna come down about six inches. And then you're gonna come down, two, up, two, down, two. So as you do this, you never fully extend. You're always staying about that six inches 
down from your original highest position. So there's always that little gap in your legs. You asked for a thigh gap, here's your thigh gap. Breathe in and out, take it up. Take it down, take it up, good. So squeeze those glutes, and as you're doing this nice slow movement, easing into that burn, I want you to pay attention to where your back is, that you're staying nice and tall the whole time. If someone were to look at you from just your uh, hips up, they would just see you like moving like in an elevator, right? Moving up and down super straight. We're really starting off nice and slow to get into that deep burn. You're gonna go ahead and grab that arm, pull it up over your head and take it up. We're gonna do one more just like this. Take it down, two, take it up, two. Here we're gonna start pulsing. You're gonna do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You're gonna drop it all the way down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Pull it up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Drop it down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more time. Take it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Drop it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold here. Here's where our circle comes into play, okay? Stay at the bottom of your range. If you can, drop a little lower. If you're like me, your legs are shaking. All right, you're gonna go ahead and rotate those hips around in a circle to the right. Breathe in and out as you rotate those hips in a circle, in a circle. Whew. That should really dig into those thighs. You got five. Four, three, two, and one, yes. Okay, shake those legs out. We're gonna go ahead and bring that uh, uh, chair over to the other side. And we're gonna start on the other side with a different exercise, and then we're gonna go do them both on, oh, sorry, actually, we're gonna start on the same side. And then we're gonna do them over on the other side. So you're gonna start with your hand on your hip, you're gonna bring your feet parallel, come up onto your toes, slightly bend your knees, Right leg comes out to the side. You're gonna open this arm up to the side as you open up. Up, 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 good, up. You got five, four, three, two. Last one, and start rotating back, 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 back. So we're starting with these nice moves here. You can keep that arm down on your hip if that's too challenging to keep it out to the side. And you can come down onto your heel if that's easier as well. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, bring that leg all the way down. Now we're switching sides. Come to the other side. We're gonna jump into that um, thigh move again. So you're gonna bring your feet together. Sorry, your toes apart, heels together, hand on the bar, opposite hand on your hip. Come up into the air, then retuck those two heels so that they're touching. Come down about six inches. And here you're gonna drop down for two, up, two, whew. Down, two, up, two. You have the option here to bring an arm up over your head as you move up and down. Take a deep breath in and out. I know it burns, but we are in this together, okay? Take a deep breath as you move up and down. Really good, we're gonna do one more just like that. Take it down, two, up. We're gonna do an abbreviated pulsing here. So we're only gonna do two sets of high and low. All right, you got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, take it down. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, take it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, take it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold. And now you're gonna start rotating those hips around and around. Get low. Get a little lower if you can. So from the side, again, your back is staying nice and tall. It's just those hips moving while you get as low as you can. You got five, get lower. Four, only three left, get as low as you can. Two, last one. Whew, take it 
it all the way up and shake those legs out. Circles, man, circles. Okay, hand onto the bar, other hand onto your hip to start with. Toes are, uh, feet are parallel, come up onto your toes, bend down ever so slightly, about six inches, three to six inches. Take your left leg this time out to the side. You can hold your arm out to the side as well as you lift up, up, up. Breathe in and out, you got this. Pull those abs in, but as you do this, you are able to take, pull the, those abs in ever so slightly leaning forward. Not dramatically, just enough to keep that abs and your back engaged. Breathe in and out. You can do this also on your heel or with your hand on your hip. You got three, two, last one, hold here, and bring that circle, circle that leg around. Breathe in and out. Shoulders are down away from your ears. Really good. Stay with it. You got it. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Take it all the way down and shake those legs out. You are done with legs. Congratulations. Let's go ahead and stretch it out. Hold on to the bar with one hand. Grab one ankle back behind you and pull your hips forward while you pull your leg back. So you are working against yourself as your glutes push forward you pull your leg up to your glutes Whew. breathe in and out here so you get that wonderful hip flexor stretch so good switch for the other side go ahead and grab that other ankle push your glutes forward while you pull that ankle up toward your glutes breathe one more breath here and take it down. We're moving on to glutes now, guys. Okay, so we're gonna start here at the bar again. You're gonna take your arm, fully plant it onto the bar, feet are together, and you're gonna lean forward slightly as you pull your left leg out back behind you. So from the side, you look like this. Arm comes forward in front of you, pull your abs in, shoulders come down, your neck is neutral, so you're looking down about two to three feet in front of you. Take that leg up back behind you and come up onto your front toe. Drop that toe down behind you in the back and lift it up. Down and up, down, up. So you're moving with that glute, pulling that leg all the way up. My leg is already shaking, guys. Some great modifiers here are to go ahead and take that heel on your, uh, Stable standing, but down onto the ground, or to move your hand onto your hip. <sighs> Breathe in and out. You got three, two, lift that leg up. Last one, hold it up. You know what's coming. It's a circling in. Circle, 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 circle. Good. Drop that hip down. You want those hips to be nice and square. You got five, four, three, two, Last one, take it all the way down. Shake those legs out. We're gonna move right onto the other side. So your hand comes onto your bar, nice and flat there. You're gonna lean forward. And as you lean forward, you're gonna bring your other leg back behind you. So your right leg this time. Your neck is nice and neutral, abs are pulled in. Come up onto your toe, touch down, lift up. Down and up. Keep that neck nice and neutral. As you pull that leg up, use your glute to do the pulling here. Don't use that momentum. Really make it a muscular movement in those glutes, lifting up from the very like crescent and glute. Really nice, good and steady. You got this. You got five, four, good, three, that's all the way up, and you're gonna start circling, circle, circle, circle. If you can, come up onto that front toe. Can't stay on that foot. You are getting a great workout no matter what, right here. About five, four, three, two, 
and one. Whew. Let it come all the way down. I'm gonna adjust the screen a little bit. Hi, I'm really close. Okay, so there's the screen a little bit lower, and we're gonna come down onto the ground. There is reason behind that madness. Okay. So you're gonna come into a pretzel shape. So that means one leg is bent out in front of you, your other leg is bent back behind you. You're gonna take a snazzy ham, drop them on the ground, and then start inching to the side until this uh, back leg comes up off the ground. Pull your torso nice and tall, open it up like you're bragging about whatever limited two-shirt you're wearing right now, and you're pull that leg back, in, back, back, back. So all your toes, your feet are flexed right now. <sighs> Pull it back. Try to keep your hips nice and square, so right, one right on top of the other, rather than this hip folding back. You're trying to stay right on top of one another. This can be easier if you have like a stair or something that you can sit on, or a little prop you could sit on. That can make it easier to bring this other leg up off the ground. <sighs> and if this is your first time doing this, Guys, it's like a first kiss. It's always gonna be awkward. There's no good way to do this for the first time where you're like, yes, this feels really great. <sighs> Push that leg back, back. Got five, four, three, two, hold at the highest point and pull up, 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 up. <sighs> Breathe in and out. You got it, keep it going. <sighs> keep those hips squared, torso open. If you want, you can take this arm out in front of you or out to the side. You got five, four, three, two, hold here, and a little circle, 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 circle. I know, we love the circles here. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Take it all the way down. Whew, okay, let's switch right over to the other side. Same deal. So your front leg is bent, toe is flexed. Staying your, it, like right where that heel ends, your other leg begins, and that toe is flexed. Takes that hands down on the ground, lean to the side until that leg comes up back behind you. And then you're gonna push back and back. So what this is really working is your gluteus medius. Your glute is made up of a few different muscle groups right there. So your glute, the middle of your glute basically, is what we're targeting here. You should really feel it along the side area. <sighs> Breathe in and out, open up that chest as you bring that leg back, back, back. Oh yeah, that's right, that's what I'm talking about. That really little, that really little movement that has a lot of burden. So where we're at, take it back, take it back. Breathe in and out, open up that chest, check that your abs are engaged. You got five, four, three, two, last one, pull up. You're gonna start lifting up, 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 up. Check that your hips are stacked. You have the option here to take your uh, open arm out in front of you or out to the side. If you really want to challenge, you can bring both arms up or you can just keep that arm down. You got five, four, three, two little circles. Little circles around back. You got it. You're doing so good. I know it burns. I know you're in this right now. You're in it deep. I'm here too. You really feel it here. Breathe in and out. You got five, four, three, two, last one. Awesome, take it all the way down. We're gonna stay on the ground here. So you're gonna come onto your hands and knees this time. We're gonna do a little zinger with a little twist. The zinger with a twist, that would be a great cocktail. Take your leg back behind you, lift it up, and you're gonna take it out six inches to the side, pull it back in, six inches, Pull it back in, six, and in, good, six. Take it out, pull it in, out, and in. You've got five, four, three, pull those abs in, two, pull out six inches to the side, you're gonna circle in, 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 in. Pull those abs in. Help to elongate that spine. Hands are underneath your shoulders. Really nice, really good. Stay with it. You've got five, four, three, two, 
One, ooh, take it down, switch to the other leg. Opposite leg comes back behind you, pull those abs in, lift that leg up, out six inches to the side, and back in. Out and in, out, in. <sighs> take it in. Keep holding those abs up nice and tall. Hands are placed underneath your um, shoulder blades, or sorry, your shoulders. <sighs> Breathe. Keep those arms nice and straight. You're looking down at the floor in front of you, either between your hands or maybe within a foot uh, forward in front of you. As you take it out six inches to the side, pull it back in. You got five, four, three, two, hold it all the way out to the side at that six inches and rotate. Little circles. <sighs> Try to keep that leg nice and high, nice and tall and good and straight, okay? So your abs are pulled in, Shoulders are away from your ears. You have 15 seconds left in your glute exercise, guys. And you're done. Keep breathing. You got this. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Woo, pull all the way over. We're going to start by just taking our right leg up over our left. Bring your arms around that left thigh. Oh, yes. Pull that thigh in towards your chest. Oh, so good. You can gently press your um, outside knee so that you're pressing that leg out to the side. Switch to the other leg. Wrap your hand around your right thigh this time and press your left thigh ooh, out to the side. Breathe in and out. We're going to move on to abs next, guys. Abs. Last couple seconds here. Hand, take it all the way down. All right, you got about nine minutes of abs, and then you're done. I'm going to press this just a little bit farther out of the picture. Then we're going to come down to the ground. We're going to immediately start by placing our hands right underneath our glutes and lifting those legs up straight into the air. We're going to start by bringing these legs down in front of us and opening up in a big circle and doing these big circles all the way around. <sighs> Open up and bring it back in. Breathe in and out as you do this. Big, big circle. So you got two more, and then we're going to rotate in, uh, which direction we go in. Last one, and this time we're going to open it up and take it out. So a little bit of a rotation and pulling those abs in first. Breathe in and out. You got five. Four, three, almost there, two, final one. Take it all the way up, all the way down, all the way to the bottom. Oh, you're going to pull those out legs into your chest just for a moment for a little bit of a reset. And then you're going to take those legs up uh, into a tabletop position and take your arms out to either side. You're going to drop your legs down to one side. Reach them up and over and drop them down to the other. Reaching those legs side to side. Use your breath. These are nice, slow, steady movements, but they take a lot from your body to hold all the way down there at the center, or sorry, at the other side, and then pull it over to the other side. You got four more. Four, take it up. Three, and two, Last one. Pull it in. Pull those legs into your chest for a moment. And we're going to come all the way up onto our booty. So we're going to take our hands back behind us. Lift your legs up. And start pulling those legs out, in, out, in. Take it in. Breathe as you do this. Pushing through. You've got four, three, two, last one. Hold it up here. You're going to start twisting in the center. So you're going to keep those legs up. Or if this is a little challenging, plant those legs down on the ground. Otherwise, stay here and go side to side, rotating from your torso, side to side. Really good. Keep that back as straight as you can. Ten more seconds here. Keep pushing through. All right, you got 
five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Don't hate me. We're going to move over. We're going to move into a one minute long plank. Ah, sorry. Come up into that plank. You're in a nice flat back position. You can do this all the way up here on your elbows, or you can drop those knees down and practice here first. We are only holding here for one minute. Do what you can. Breathe in and out. Shoulders are down away from your ears. Forearms are on the ground. This is an amazing full body exercise. Doing it at the end of a workout like this is tough. So if you're feeling your body shake, know that's a sign of strength. How far you've come, what you're accomplishing now, you totally got this. Breathe in and out. You're doing so good. Hang in there. Shoulders are right under, uh, right above your elbows. Shoulders are in line with your glutes. And from there down, those legs move down toward the floor. Your abs are pulled in. You've got about five seconds left. Three, two, one. Take it down. Extend those arms forward in front of you. Roll back onto those uh, feet, getting a stretch in your arms, but also getting some relief for those glutes. Ooh, pull all the way up. Excellent job. You're going to rotate onto your back. Once again, take those legs up into the air. Hands can be right underneath your booty, or they can walk underneath your um, neck and pull yourself up uh, at your torso. So your belly is staying nice and constricted. And that's really what's pulling you up. You're going to rotate those legs around in circles toward the right. A single unit rotating in a circle. Breathe in and out. You got it. You got three and two. Last one. Drop those legs down. Where your heel touches. Then we're going to switch to the other side of rotating. Switch to heel touch. Either side, push through. You got it? So you're pulling in from your abs. Anytime you're lifting your torso up off the ground, I need you to take the focus away from your shoulders, away from your neck, and move it right here to the center of your body. You got five, four, three, two, one. Take those legs in for a moment. Breathe. Push those legs up. You can either bring your hands right behind your neck and uh, helping support that knee, that uh, head on the way up, or you can keep those hands underneath your glutes. We're gonna rotate to the other side this time. <sighs> Circles around, you've only got three minutes left in your ab workout today, guys. Three minutes left and then you are done. Think of how far you've come. Don't phone it in for these last three minutes. You own this. <sighs> you've got five, four, three, Two, last one, awesome. Take it all the way down. Pull those legs in towards your chest. Breathe here. <sighs> really good, awesome. We're gonna switch over to this side and do some oblique work here. So you're gonna come onto both of your knees, then you're gonna extend one leg out to the side. Reach that arm up and over your head, and you're gonna pull that leg in, pulling your arm at the same time, and reach and extend. Pull in and extend, pull and extend. <sighs> Breathe in and out, you got it. Get two minutes left in abs. See how fast that minute went? It's because you're a baller. Keep it going here. <sighs> you got four, three, two, last one, extend. Good, switch to the other side. Arm comes up to the side and you're gonna start immediately pulling that leg in and extending. <sighs> Breathe and push. You got it, and push. Really good. A minute and a half. Breathe. You got five and four. Three, two, last one. Awesome. Let's go back to doing some more oblique work. We're gonna come onto the ground, we're gonna do a little bit of rotation. So we're gonna come up onto our toes. We're gonna double tap on one side, double tap on the other. Double tap, double tap. <sighs> Focusing again on those kind of circular movements, rotating to either side. You got less than a minute. 
breathe, push and push. Really good. Stay with it. You got it. You've come this far. You can push through all the way to the end. Five, four, three, two, last one. Come onto your back once again. And we're going to end with bicycling. So go ahead and wrap your hands around your neck. Pull yourself up from your abs and rotate from side to side. Pushing through, letting one knee come to the opposite elbow. 15 seconds left, guys. We're gonna stay here, we're gonna end in this bicycle. You are so close. You got 10 seconds left. Breathe in and out. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Yes! Great job, guys. Go ahead and come back to a neutral position. Breathe in and out. You're going to let those legs fall over to the right-hand side while your torso reaches in the opposite direction. You should feel the stretch all along your abs. Really amazing work today. Use these next few minutes to just get centered. Go ahead and let those legs fall to the other side. Reach your torso in the opposite direction. And take a moment to really appreciate what your body was able to do. These workouts are not easy, but every time you come out, you are getting better and you're getting um, stronger each time. No matter where you're at, your body did an incredible job today of persevering and working really hard. Pull into center. I'm gonna pull both legs in toward your chest and extend. You're gonna reach your left leg all the way forward in front of you. Pull your right leg up close to your body and then pull it across the center of your body. While you pull it across the center, you wanna take your um, same arm as your bent leg, but reach it out to the side. So your bent leg is moving across your body while your straight arm is moving out to the side, deepening that stretch. Come back through center, grab the leg with the same arm and pull it out to the side while now your arm reaches in the opposite direction. Take a deep breath in and out here. Maybe give your leg a couple little rolls here, that knee a couple little rolls, come back to center. And you're gonna roll this leg around, giving it that nice old familiar circular movement and circles to the right. And then a couple circles to the left and extend that leg out in front of you. You're gonna reach forward, grab your opposite leg this time, pull it across the center line of your body. And while you do that, take your arm and reach it out to the side, opening up that body and extending that stretch. Breathe and let that air fill your uh, lungs and diaphragm. And as you breathe out, always try to deepen that stretch. Bring that leg back across the center of your body and open it up to the side while your arm reaches out into the other side. You can go ahead and give that leg a couple circles here. And then work its way back to center. Rotate that leg a few times and then rotate it the opposite way. Gonna bring both legs in, reach in toward the center of those feet and open up into a happy baby stretch. Go ahead and rotate just a little bit from side to side, opening up those hips, pulling a little deeper into that movement. One more breath here, pull just a little bit deeper and let those legs come down in front of you. While they come down, you can go ahead and rotate that you're sitting up nice and tall. Focus on that posture, pulling yourself up high. Arms come down to the side on either side of your body. We're gonna take two deep breaths here. The first one, we're gonna breathe in, reaching those arms up towards the sky, 
and breathe out, letting that air fall down. Same thing the second time, go ahead and reach up all the way, breathing in, let those lungs fill up and then let it all go. Guys, thank you so much for coming out today. I love working out with you. Let me know you came. It's always so much fun. Um, and I will see you soon. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and find me on Instagram. Tell your friends so we can all work out together. It's a great way to stay connected to people. I love you and I will talk to you later. Bye.